Hey, hello there, Leo. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's prediction covers July 1st to the 7th of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. To enter to win, press that notification bell and comment and you're automatically entered to win. I have shuffled and meditated over and blessed this reading just for you, Leo. Your first card, it's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background of the question. It is the Emperor, number four of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Number four, the Emperor. That stands for authority and leadership and paternity. It stands for stability and ambition and domination. And it could be someone that you might feel you're under their influence. So you need to stand up for yourself and rely on your own power. Or you could be organizing, prioritizing, you might be dealing with your father and defending your boundaries or maybe even being protective and solving problems and being in control and it has to do with laws and rules. Your second card, that's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future, what's occurring now. That is the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, Leo. That's a hot, happy spot to be in. It's material wealth. It's the wish card. It's great joy and happiness. It's your dreams coming true. It's everything you want and hope for. Great satisfaction. It's a wish or a goal that's going to be realized. You're going to be happy and content and gratified might be indulging yourself. It's something that you held desire for and you felt passion for it and you never questioned the worthiness. And then you savor the manifestation and you feel those emotional and material pleasures. But it is a warning not to be smug. Your third card, and it's how it affects you. It is the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, and that's brooding. You might be feeling some regret or disappointment, and if that's the case, it's because you're dwelling on a painful past. It's those two cups that are still standing that are really important. This is a card of choice. You can continue to brood over what went wrong, or you can think about how it can be better in the future. So stop feeling sad and remorseful and blaming yourself. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, it's the results, the advice, and how to respond. That is the Empress card, number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Empress, number three, always stands for fertility, and fruitfulness. That is another card that stands for material abundance. Also marriage. And this is fertility for would-be parents. It's love through compassion and nurturing. It's feeling passion. It's time to spend some time thinking about your health and your home. And you may need to focus on your family. There may be the birth of a new idea or an energy. It's both financial and emotional support. The Empress works for harmony. Could be your mother or a female authority. It stands for natural growth and your health improving. Your fifth card, it's what's on the bottom of the deck. It's the unseen matters. It's the underlying issue, and it is the Four of Pentacles.
the Four of Pentacles. And that's holding on. That's being defensive and in your comfort zone. If you have a fixed attitude, it may limit you and block new opportunities. You might need to be saving and you're wanting to be stable and cautious and protecting your boundaries again. Advice is to go with the flow. Your foundation is firm. It's extra firm. So try not to be too stubborn. Be generous with wealth and spirit. Thank you so much, Leo. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I'm extremely grateful. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.